Good morning, Rocky Park friends. I am coming to you from my bathroom floor. I am going to show you one of the ways that you use measurement in the future. Several of you say, oh, Ms. Ashcraft, we're never going to use this in the future. Why would I ever need to do this? Well, here's why. Um, I have a house. Uh, when I moved here, it had carpet in the bathroom on the floor. Well, that feels awesome on my feet. However, my daughter has dropped several things of makeup on the floor and it's really hard to get out. So today I'm going to try to replace the flooring. Here's the carpet that's on the floor. Here's where my bed is. Um, I am going to replace the floor and I'm going to use this wood plank. There it is. So it will be, I'll be able to just wipe it up. To do this job, I have to have several tools. Um, I'm not going to use a ruler because then I'd have to mark where I was. They have something really cool called a measuring tape. This is one of them. Oops. That I have. I also have one that looks like this, and then I have a smaller one. Since this is a smaller room, I have my little one that fits in my hand. It measures 12 feet. It will tell you on the outside how far you can measure with this tool. I have a utility knife. It looks like this. It is a super sharp knife, and all I have to do is draw a line on the board with it. That's called scoring. And with my straight edge, this is my straight edge. It is a long piece of metal that has a straight edge and then I can just snap the board. Um, those are a couple of the tools. The last tool is my rubber mallet. Here's my well-loved rubber mallet. It's got uh, duct tape on it just to make it a little bit fun. But my job today, I started out with researching this project because I didn't want to jump into something without having at least an idea of how to do it. So I went on to the website where I bought the flooring that was at Home Depot, they had several videos about how to install this flooring to make it easier for me. So I watched those. I wrote down the math equations that I need to use to be able to measure it and put it in correctly. I watched some YouTube videos. So anytime you get into a project, you really want to research what you're doing so you know you're not getting over your in over your head. I also have a couple of friends that if I get stuck, I can call and they've done this before so they can come help me. So having a backup plan is also a really good idea if you take on a home improvement project for the very first time. So the first thing I did was I measured. Here is my measuring tape. I started from the far wall in the bathroom. And you know when you're measuring, you have to make sure that the very end and the very end and the end the end of what I'm measuring. It goes up against the wall. Right there you can see it. And then I pull it out. That's the handy thing about this. If I hold it down, I can just pull. And I measure all the way to the side. And then I look down, and this floor from one wall to the other is 69 and a quarter inches wide. So that's the first measurement I need. I also measured um, the length of my room from the door all the way over to the bathtub. And the last thing I measured was the actual length of the board. Now, on the box for the board, sorry, I'm flipping around. How long it is. However, I like to be sure. So I always double check. When you measure something and you're going to cut it or change its size, you want to measure twice and cut once. So. I'm using that adage and I'm measuring the board just to be sure. Okay, I've done all the measurements and I wrote them down. Here's my direction page where I wrote it down from the notes I took. Here's my equations. Now, I measured my room and it was 69.25 inches wide. I had to convert that fraction into a decimal to be able to make it work because the board is measured in decimals. So I took 69.25 and I divided it by the width of the board and that equaled 9.75 inches. I also measured across in one other place because there are two parts to the bathroom and they're different widths. It told me um, in the directions on this page that if my board was less than half of the width, then I had to make a different cut but my board is more than half the width of the board. It's more than 3.5 inches wide. So I'm looking good on my side to side measurement. My um, from the door to the bathtub one was 130.75 inches. I had to divide it by the length of the board, which was 47.6 inches. 
and I got 2.75. I had to do some rounding right here and right here um, because I only measure a board to the quarter inch pretty much. Um, I measure it more detailed, but I don't go up to the thousands place. Uh, my uh, tape measure doesn't measure that finely. So I divide it and it is 2.15 inches. Now, they told me on my paper on the directions that if my length was less than eight inches, I needed to cut the first board accordingly to make sure it would work. 